Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Hope you're having a great day. Today, um, if you're ever wondering how I pick the subjects, I'll call them subjects, um, for painting, my main thing is from subscriber requests. I still have a bunch on back order because I like to do them when I feel like I can do them well or assuming that they turn out. Still having an issue with my aardvark. But anyway, um, so I just type in random words into Google and I, I Google it. So today, what I did for this one, I typed in three words, yellow, feathers, and Arizona. And I hit Google and then from that point I actually pulled up today's uh, subject which is the Bullock's Oriole. Didn't even know one existed. Apparently it's the cousin of the Baltimore Oriole, which I did in a previous video. Um, but yeah, that's where I got today's thing, uh, today's subject. So here we go. Hope you're having a good day, enjoying the summer, and yeah, take care. Okay, so these birds, and it's funny because they're only uh, located on the uh, west coast, kind of the Washington to California area. They do winter in Mexico. Um, they like margaritas and tequila shots. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, but it's odd because I did have a couple fly in my house as I'm doing this, so you might he hear them singing in the background there. The males are... Uh, definitely the more colorful. They are larger than the females. And um, the one thing I have noticed in my research is the feathers can, they're not just strictly yellow, they can kind of go towards the orange color as well. So just remember that uh, in case you're on Jeopardy and they ask you what the difference is between a Baltimore Oriole and the Bullock's Oriole. Turns out that uh, Mr. Bullock was a naturalist and um, he sort of found, uh, not really discovered, but um, sort of classified these birds. So they called it the Bullock's Oriole. Now, a couple of the neat things is um, the difference, one of the differences between the Baltimore Oriole and the Bullock Oriole is the, um, the Bullocks tend to sing quicker and they sing in a harsher tone. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I thought it was kind of funny. They um, have five to seven eggs, and uh, one of the neat things is they they weave their nests, nests, so that they're kind of like little pockets, and um, they actually sometimes can hang in uh, high trees or by telephone wires, uh, which sounds kind of dangerous, um, but that's very distinctive of these birds. They also, and here's a new term for you, like riparian corridors. Now, I've heard of this before. I didn't know that was the official name. But basically, they like to um, breed in areas basically that are um, on the very edge of waterways and forests. So you might see a tree line near a river or a stream, for example. So that's where they like to... Uh, to hang out and have their families. They are not migratory birds, they just sort of stick around. They do go south in the winter in the colder parts, but that's about it. Um, they um, 